Hello girls and welcome to another video brought to you by Girls for God magazine Beauty 101. I'm Kez and I'm the beauty editor for Girls for God. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do rag curls. You may have noticed from previous videos that my hair is always dead straight. That is without the need of a straightener. So every now and then when I like to get my curl on, I've tried um, rollers, I've tried a curling iron, I've tried doing curls with a straightener, but none of those curls will last me more than half a day at the most. So I actually took a leaf out of my grandmother's beauty book and discovered rag curls. Rag curls are awesome. You put them in your hair the night before, wake up in the morning, take them all out and you've got these gorgeous bouncy girl curls that look very natural and will last you more than a day. So what you are going to need for rag curls is freshly washed hair that is towel dried so it's not dripping wet but then it's not dry dry either. You want it to still have a fair bit of moisture in it. Then you're going to need um, some rags that are about two centimeters wide, reasonably long. These are my dad's old shorts so you probably want cotton or a shirt material that's not going to be leave a lot of fluff in your hair and you don't want it to be too stretchy either. You also need a comb, a few clips and a leave-in conditioner. So to start off you're going to spray a bit of this leave-in conditioner all through your hair. I've already done it before I started the video so I'm just doing a little bit now to show you. Uh, you want to make sure your hair's detangled because it's quite hard to get knots out of your curls once they're done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my hair up into a few sections. So I'll get this top section and divide that. Do that up with a clip on the top of my head and look lovely and ridiculous. But who cares? It's all for the sake of beauty, right? Okay, and then the back. I'm going to split into two sections. So I've got one bottom section and I've got this top section, which I'll do up with another one of my clips. Okay, so I like to start from the bottom because otherwise I get myself tangled. Some people like to start from the front. I'm weird like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my first rag and then I'm going to get this section of hair at the back, get my first piece of hair and you want to put your rag on top, drag it down to the bottom and then this end you want to wrap around nice and tightly so that you get your ends in that curl and then I'm going to slowly roll my hair up against itself with the rag right up until I get it to my scalp and once it's there nice and firm I'm going to get this rag and tie a knot. Make sure that knot is nice and firm no need for a double knot it won't come undone. I'm going to do the second bit same as before bring it to the end wrap that tip in nice and tight. It's a bit funny if you end up with straight ends at the bottom of your curls. Okay, bring that up to your scalp and tie it off nice and tight and I've left a bit of hair out. It's alright, I've got plenty of rags here. Um, how many rags you put in your hair depends on what you're wanting to get out of it. Um, the smaller the sections of your hair, the tighter the curl is going to be. Now I've done lots and lots of rag curls in the past where I've used very small sections of hair and I've ended up looking a bit like a poodle. <laughs> it's quite fun but yeah, if you're not into that look, it's not the best. 
it can be very frizzy you end up with an afro which is quite cool I think afros are awesome but if you're just wanting a normal curly hair look do less rags so now I'm starting on my next section which is middle that one's still up yep so I'll start on the side of my ear make sure I've got all the hair get a nice section bring it out to the end and curl and it's pretty much repeat this process right up till the end. Right, now for the top section, I've taken out the clip. I'm going to split it into a small, actually, if you part your hair to a particular side, this is where you want to get that bit right. Because it's a bit hard to do that once your curls come through. So I usually part my hair here. So I'm going to do my first one at the front. Get those knots out. So that is all my rag curls done at the moment. Now, what I like to do to keep it tidy, um, oh wait, I'm missing a piece. Never mind. Now that my rag curls are all done, I'm going to keep them all nice and neatly on my head while I sleep using this marvellous contraption that I picked up at a garage sale. Now, if you don't happen to have one of these, you can use a scarf or a bandana and basically it just keeps all your rag curls nice and tight, nice and neat, so that while you sleep they don't move around too much. This also gives you nice 1950s housewife look. <laughs> there we go. All done, all set, and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Good morning. Um, I did my rag curls up last night and I've woken up. Now I'm about to go have a shower. If you're one of the people like me that likes to shower in the morning as well, just to freshen up. Um, it's a good idea to wear a scarf or a shower cap over your rag curl so they don't get damp or moist from the moisture in the shower. Um, and yeah, I'll see you after my shower and we'll see how it turned out. Okay, so I've had my shower and I'm ready to take out these rag curls and see what they look like. So, they survived the night. A bit floppy, some of them. There's the first curl, nice and bouncy. Check that out. Haha. <laughs> okay, so now that these are out, just gently break them up a little bit and there you have your very natural looking curls if you like you can pin one of them up pin up one side give yourself a bit of definition and 
And there you go, Rag Curls. You can go check out our website www.girlsforgod.com.au and if you like you can subscribe to our magazine which comes out every three months. You can also order back copies through our website. If you like, you can add us on Facebook as well for more interesting updates. See ya!